Ancient cultural treasures discovered in what is now Iraq and Syria on display at Berlin's famous Pergamon Museum. These artifacts are safe, but in Syria and Iraq, antiquities have been plundered for years. And many of the most valuable ones have fallen into the hands of the so-called Islamic State. Looted objects are often sold on the Internet, and in Berlin, the Syrian Heritage Archive helps to track them down. Here, archaeologists and art historians look at what remains of Syria's artistic heritage after four years of civil war. They've already digitized some 150,000 objects, and they continue to search the web for looted antiquities which have been put up for sale. The problem is that usually no indication is given of where objects come from. Often it's stated that they come from Mesopotamia or from the Levant, terms which naturally don't correspond with modern-day states. Where do you find these things? In various auction houses and galleries and, as we've just seen on the screen, on eBay. Quite a lot is traded on eBay. If she and her colleagues discover especially striking or valuable artifacts, they notify Germany's federal criminal police. And they work together with experts in Syria, like Mohammed Spey, a specialist in ancient mosaics. Until a few months ago, he worked at a museum in Syria. He's fighting against the organized looting of artworks. We archaeologists, art historians and students are protecting the artworks, even though they're being threatened, and even though we have no income to speak of anymore. Three months ago, he fled Syria. Soon he'll be conducting tours in Arabic at museums in Berlin. But he knows that as long as IS keeps finding buyers for stolen artworks in Europe and elsewhere, the plundering of Syria and Iraq's cultural heritage will continue.